Now, I am discussing from my written book, The Splendid Archaeological Heritage of Buddhism in Bangladesh and South Asia, Saptar Pandit Bihar. Pandit Bihar is a Buddhist Bihar of ancient Bengal called Chaitya Bhumi. It's now known as Chittagong in Bangladesh. The site is located in Anwara Upajila near the city of Chittagong and was a center of learning from the 5th century CE to CE 1200 CE. Chaitagram is the earliest name of Chittagong which bears the testimony of glorious achievement and ancient culture of history of Buddhist. The Chotto indicates the natural homes of earth spirits and are most often recognized in small stands of trees and even in a single tree. According to Buddhist text from about 200 BC, wandering Indian ascetic often gathered near Chottos to beg alms from local religion pilgrims and to pay homage to the deities di residing therein. Later the term Chotto assumed the distinctive meaning of a meeting place or meditation group or a mendicant's renunciates and pilgrimage center for the laity. The Chotto reveals the Buddhist shrine or monastery where multitude subjects were taught. It enshrined not only as the sacred place of Buddhist learning and worship, but also the seen place of Lord Buddha's footstep here. In the 7th century, during it treated as Sri Chattol, as a hill place with many temples situated to the southwest of Samothoto. Some historians opin that the name of the source of the term Chitagong from Chottogram, it's natural to be Chittagong from Chottogram as there are many Chotto everywhere. The scholars opine that Myanmar situated to the southern position of Tripura and north of Arakan, hence the capital city was named as Sri Chattal, according to Govindo Chandra Giti, page 54. Ancient glorious history religion and cultural heritage of Buddhism flourished in this Sri Chattal. An internationally renowned Buddhist university named Panditi Bihar was built and bloomed the dignity of excellent learning in the world. A Tibetan book named Yak Sanjan translated by Rai Bahadur Sharot Chandradash in English revealed an idealistic motto about the history of Buddhism. This invaluable book gives us the concept of the foundation of many renowned Buddhist monasteries in East Bengal during the era of Pal kings. Chittagong was known as varied names in different times. In it turns out the curiosity of the people about the naming differently. Chittagong was known as Jalandhar, Samandhar, Chittagram, Chattala, Chothagam, Chittagram, Chittagong, etc. Besides these, the other name included Pushpaur, Shahiri Shabas, Karnabhul, Ramestain, Shatarakan, Chittagong, etc. Obviously, besides these, other names are Karnabhul, Ramastan, Shatarakanun, and Kushpur, Green City, Chottigam. The text stamen of Tudarmal, the revenue secretary of the Emperor Akbar, the prefix word Chotgam is found and later on. Bujarga Umet Khan, the son of Shasta Khan, mentioned Chiragong as Islamabad, which was introduced under the rule of Mughal Empire. Later on, Chittagram and Chittagong was accepted 
as a modern name Chiragong, which was the center of communication between the individual in undivided India and Southeast Asia. Tibetan books Paksham Jun, written by historian Lama Taranath, gave impetus about the name of this land as Jalandhar. Pace, volume 1918-21-23. Later on, Jalandhar, which means a place of hot waters. According to Chinese traveler Huen Shang, Chitogong was included in the Shamotot kingdom, and probably this Shamotot kingdom was surrounded by Brahmaputra river to the north, the Bay of Bengal to the south, Chitogong hill track to the east, and Padda river to the west. R. G. Boshak, History of Northeastern India, Calcutta, 1934. Renowned historian Dr. Ahmed Sharif illustrated in his book, The History of Dhaka, says that Arakan was Chirogong, was ruled as a Swarian state by the King Chandra dynasty from the 5th century. Chirogong and Shamotot was under the rule of Buddhist Kadga king in the 6th century history of Dhaka, page 162, and Shamotot ruled by the kings of Buddhist dynasty. 1984, page 162 noted, this was enthralled by the Arakanese king in the first half of the 8th century and came under the rule of Palo kings in the second half of the century. Dr. Ahmed Hassan Dani noted that Chittagong was under the rule of King Dharmapal. In the 9th century, the greater Chirogong, Noakali and Komilla, was under the rule of Harikal kings. Bardhamanpur was the capital of Harikal kingdom. A copper plate about the king Kantideva of Harikal discovered at Bharaton village of Dyang Hill under the Anwara Upujila to the south of Kandapuli River. According to R.C. Majumdar, the copper plate of Kantidev was inscribed at the Bardhamanpur, the capital of Harikal, in 850-50. Dr. Suniti Bhushan Kanung opined that Bardhalampur is the Bara, Bara Uthan village of Potiyathana and the district of Chittagong. The Pandit Bihar of Chittagong was established under the patronage of the King Dharmapal. The name of Pandit Bihar University disseminated as the center of high excellence of studying home and abroad. Mahajani Buddhism was the cardinal subject of the Pandit Bihar and this Mahajani Buddhism flourished in the Southeast Asia from the half of center. Pandit Bihar Blujum is novelty tux relating to the Buddhist arts sculpture and archaeological antiquities and spread its dignity in the world. The remains, numerous sculpture, mural, copper plate, inscription, shields, coins, plaque, potteries and works in stone, bronze, Staku and Terracotta have been unearthed within the ruin of Panditi Biharu. The artifacts are now preserved in various museums of Bangladesh. Revival efforts. On 28 March 2010, the Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina, proposed the idea while according to the joint session during her visit to China for revival of Pandit University. The name of the university will be changed to International Pandit University and refer the following footstep of the revival of the ancient Lalanda University in India. Pandit Bihar, Chittagong from Tibetan book, name Shak Sanjan, translated by Rai Bahadur, Sharad Chandradas, we get the description about the creator of Golden Age in Bengal, Dhanmapal, the second king of Palo dynasty in the 8th century established 50 monastery in his kingdom. The Panditi Biharo is one of the 
Harikal Chiragong and Shamotor Dhaka and Komilla was under the rule of Buddhist Kadga king since the 6th century. A controversy comes when some scholars say that it was established by the King Chandra dynasty of Pottikesha in the 10th century. It is the conception of the scholars that the Buddhist kings call this hilly region Sri Chattal, the land of peace. Again, the Chinese traveler Huan Shang says about the location of Harikal kingdom, which was situated to the 800 miles away from Naranda and 30 day journey from Sri Lanka. During this time, Chiragong was under the rule of Chandra kings of Pittikesho in the first half of the 10th century and 11th century. However, the Panditi Bihar was especially the study of Mahajana Buddhism in some description had been found about the glorious past of Pandit Bihar by the Tibetan historian Lama Taranath in his famous book. He mentioned Chiragong as a Chuttigam, the capital of Gopi Chandra. After the destruction of Nalanda, one of the greatest centers of Buddhism in this subcontinent as the major establishment of Tantric Mahajan school. Otish Dipankar Srigyan, the outstanding saga and philosopher studied under Tilopa 988 to 1033, titled Pragya Bhadra, who was the inhabitant of Chakrashala at Potia, was principal of this university who had praised Buddhism in Bhutan, also studied here. The name of his written books in Sanskrit were free Shahas Shambharadisthan, Achinta, Mahamudranam, etc. This translation in Tibetan language of these books is still preserved in Tibet. The memory of other mentionable Shiddha Acharya, 84 censor that had been found get were related to Panditi Bihar or Luipa, Kama Buddhicha, Gyana Buddha, Buddha Gyanapa and Dharmasti Mati, etc. The famous Buddhist scholar of Magoth, Naropa, became the disciple of the principal Pragya Bhadra. The Buddhist scholar of all around India and Tibet would come here to learn Buddhism and philosophy. The Bihar was decorated with different books of different breezes of Buddhism and accommodation cells are made for the bhikkhus. Many of the religion chiefs of Tibet were the inhabitants of Chiragong, especially one of the writers of Charjapo, the first book of Bengali literature was Shiddipa, was the teacher of Tantris of 8th century, was inhabitants of Chiragong. Most of the Buddhist mystic song Charjagiti which were the main source of Bengali literature, were written in 84 Shiddha Acharya residing in this Pandit Bihar University. That's why it had been named Pandit Bihar, that is, University of Scholars. Bengali language and literature written and published at first in this Pandit Bihar during that era. The distinguished scholars opine that Pandit Vihar flourished with the prime church of Bengali language, Buddhist mystic songs, and Charjapod, who is written in this excellence learning of Pandit Viharo. Ashoka, Burua Shubrata Burua, Bangla Academy Dhaka. The memories of notable Shiddha Acharya who were related to Pandit Vihar were Luipat, Anangabasdo, Kanabhudi, Buddha Gyanapadho, etc. The scholars think that the writers of Buddhist mystic songs of Charjapod and some writers were Bangalis by birth and hailing from Chiragong. The scholar Banaratna of Chiragong with others went to Tibet for preaching Buddhism in Tibet. 
concerning Bengali language, some eminent Buddhists from Chiragong showed their invaluable contribution sitting in this Panditi Biharo at the leisure time of their teachings, meditation and learning. They would write Buddhist mystic chongs and charja pot, which are recognized by all scholars as the first source of Bengali language. The credit of the discovery of Charjapot goes to Pandit Harpashar Sastri, the 9th century Sanskrit scholar and historian of Bengal literature, who during his third visit to Nepal in 1907, chanced upon 47 verses at the Royal Library of Nepalese King, written in a language often referred to the Shonda Bhasha or tea light language, a cementing predecessor of today's Bengali, the collection with essentially Buddhist mystic songs came to be called Chorjagiti by some. That's seven.